everybody and welcome back to All Key Shop TV. So uh, yes, this is May. You're watching the most, um, definitely the most exciting gaming news on the entire planet. So by the way, guys, we will be spinning the wheel in a few more minutes. So how are you doing today, guys? Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to each and every one of you around the world. Now, guys, I will be tackling another great news for all of you right now who's actually watching on All Key Shop TV. And thank you so much for tuning in today. So guys, we have here prize pool of the International 2018 reaches 10 million mark. And we also have here Tekken 7 celebrates first anniversary with free DLC and Dead of or Alive 5 last round. Official side tournament happens at EVO 2018. Wow. Battlefield 5 again, guys, won't have loot boxes. Stardew Valley mod lets players add unlimited players. We also have Battlefield 5's four-player co-op introduced. RuneScape or RuneScape Classic shuts down. Now we have Kingdom Come Deliverance announces DLCs and mod support and also so much more of the headlines. Oh, we do have here a new one here. Um, hey, Rusko84. Hey, um, we also have here Sparta Kingdom and Anton Ro. Only 1,800 followers and the Asian cute girls reads what we write. Yes, we are definitely going to be entertaining you. We can interact with you um, virtually and definitely you can chat with us. It is okay, Anthonaru. The Asian cute girl reads what we write. Yes. Hi, May. So this is from Rusko84. Hi, Anski2018. How are you today? And we have J Shark with us as well. And Rusko, good to hear. If you don't mind me asking, what's the brand of your car? So how are you doing today, Rusko? Um, how is your car now? Oh, by the way, guys, let me talk about the International's 2018's Battle Pass was just released last May 9th, and yet the tournament's prize pool has already passed the $10 million mark. Now, guys, you can check it out. Let's keep our fingers crossed. We'll be giving you a lot about this detail onto the next edition. All right, so we have here happy first year anniversary Tekken 7. So Tekken 7 is already celebrating their first anniversary with Bandai Namco giving out a free DLC which is available for all platforms starting on May 31st. Now, it is actually going to be including a story mode costume set, at hour set and a female hairline or hairstyle set, a new Japan Pro Wrestling set as well, at a Kuma and Panda set. So there's also a metallic item silver set, guys. So it's super, super fun about this. And there's actually a bunch of costumes and definitely available for different characters in the game. Now, again, guys, the downloadable content is absolutely for free to all. So don't you dare miss it. So here we have Rusko84. Oh, um, Mercedes um, Classa. All good, May. Wow, that's great. That's good news. So you'll be definitely having, um, you'll be able to use now your card, and I'm really super happy for that one. Spark Kingdom, Spark Kingdom here. May, can you sing? <laughs> um, I'm not as good as a Charisse, the a previous co host, but I can definitely sing for you. Um, definitely, I can do that. <laughs> Great game, Tekken 7. Yes, you can do that. And by the way, guys, we have a new follower here. Thank you so much for following Archer12. And welcome to the All Key Shop TV family. Sparta Kingdom, I think it's a wrong live. Why? Why did you tell that one, Zero? Hi, Zero Royal Gamer ITA. How are you today? Well, welcome to All Key Shop TV. And by the way, we are actually having Dead or Alive 5 last round official side. And brace yourselves with this one, guys, because they're having side tournaments available at EVO 2018, guys. So five years have already passed since the game started. And it's already amazing to see this beautiful um, update. All right, well, thanks. Here we have for us Anski. Welcome to the family. That's from Anski. And Quick Quack Quack Duck is also on the giveaway. So, guys, if you haven't participated yet on our giveaway, definitely you can join now because we're launching this giveaway onto this loop. So, definitely you can try it! Exclamation mark giveaway on the Twitch chat. On um, Anthony Maru here, we have May. Are you a video gamer? What's your favorite games? Oh. Andrew, I'm super, super excited to tell you that I played games previously from uh, that was way back in high school. Definitely, that was the old games like the um, Nintendo, which is the all I mean, the Super Mario um, 
classic three. That's the all star. We also, I have tried the House of the Dead too. It's super, super classic. And Y City, that's the Grand Thief Y City. I have tried those. So I'm probably a gamer previously when I was a kid. Now I'm having um, time or having, or having so much time to spend a lot on PUBG. So. I'm not sure if I'm been um, tagged as a gamer for that one because uh, when I was when I went to college and studied college, I had no more time for playing games. So I definitely had to focus either working, uh, working while studying. So that's why I have no time for games. But yes, I'm actually here to tell you about some great news on Stardew Valley as well. But by the way, I would like to know Vice City. <laughs> yes, that's um, Vice City, Anthony. It's really, really kind of. That was previously like five years or three years ago, probably. <laughs> Good choice, Vicey. Thank you, Jay Shark. So um, my favorite games is Kingdoms and the Forest. Well, um, is this actually an, uh, what is what type of genre is that one? Sparta Kingdom would like to ask. And by the way, Anton Rue may know uh, what are your favorite games as well. Let me know and can you recommend some to me? All right, so definitely I can tell you about some of our bits here from Battlefield 5 that will be having a four-player co-op mode. Now, it's also called, called Combined Arms. So if you're definitely going to try this, guys, it's super, super great. So this is basically a scenario generator that can assemble missions. Now, this is not much detail available for this one, but we are sure to know more about it leading to the launch of the game, which is going to be on October 19 this year. Now, by the way, guys, this game is available for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. And those who were able to purchase the Deluxe Edition can play the game earlier on October 16th. Super great. Now, also, guys, all pre-orders will get access to the open beta. All right, so we have Yerusko84. I hope if you don't uh, do not drive that you will drive in the future Mercedes or BMW. That's um, to a J Shark. Wow. So um, it's a great brand. The BMW and Mercedes is super super great. I've seen um, it's actually high end um, cars. And also uh, we have here Ezra May. What do you think about Fortnite? Do do not do you think that it's overrated? I'm not sure for my personal opinion. I have not played Fortnite as of now, but I do believe uh, the um, if I have experienced it, probably I might think it um, as a some um, it's having two sides of the coin. So either open, I'm gonna be open-minded to either two ways, probably over overrated or not or underrated. But I have played PUBG though, and it's kind of great it's really um it's kind of amazing although um the experience that i have sometimes is actually death death all the time after um eject after trying to get some loot um looting all those um guns definitely i have so much hard i have difficulty time to i have a difficult time to try to get those guns and weapons and aim ammos all throughout the season all throughout the game so it's kind of a super challenging for me and so, so much patience for you to be able to um, harness your skills on that game. So how about you, Anton Ru? I believe that's also um, Fortnite and Fortnite and PUBG is one of those BR modes in the entire gaming industry. And would you like to prefer me, um, would you like to play Fortnite or PUBG? All right, so um, here's part of the kingdom. Under I was playing Fortnite, I was playing the safe consuming, uh, coming mode was only some update which crashed my game all the time. Now it's just quit the Fortnite. Oh, too bad. So um, do, I do hope that it will be will be working, part of kingdom. I hope that you'll be able to play back the um, Fortnite game. So guys, aside from a lot of this game news, we have a London Spitfire change it, its roster. A change in roster was announced by London Spitfire. They are benching now for four of their players. Now let me talk about these players. This Yun Wu, Zhu, Jian Yu, Hang, and Shang Yun, Hu, and actually Dong Yun, Kureg Li. So it's actually um, pretty much um, Korean, Chinese, or Japanese, and made in 
inactive until the end of the season, guys. So these four players are actually going to do. They are still uh, being under the London Spite Fire until their contracts end. However, guys, the announcement was still made in order for the members to find new homes. Now, guys, the bench members are actually great players. However, their techniques do not fit with the group. PUBG is more realistic. I think it's better because there are no annoying buildings. <laughs> yes, you have to build. Uh, I have seen some of those who are playing like Fortnite, especially Ninja. Um, a great streamer, great player. Ninja had played like so much with Fortnite, and I'm, I'm not sure what character he's um, he is on. But I can see how it is to build some walls before anything or before the bullets will be coming right after to you. All right, so that's a great answer. To let me thank you so much. And Fortnite is based too much on materials and constructions. Yes, I agree with you that one and have a bad hitbox. <laughs> All right, I'll be checking that one as well. But thank you so much for this suggestion. I will be. Um, also be looking out for all those um, new games that we have, especially the popular titles, especially Conan Exile. I believe I would like to check that out as well. But for now, uh, let's, let's go back to our PC version for Sunset Override. It's really a possibility, ga um, possibility game because it's going to be having an Xbox One exclusive and it's going to be so much fun to check out this new amazing update, guys. So, Shark here with us. Um, Fortnite is good, well optimized game. However, PUBG is greater than Fortnite. <laughs> all right, yes. And J Shark here answered, Oh, I agree with the hitbox thing. It's all about shotguns and shields. Oh my gosh. Wow. So uh, you have played Fortnite, J Shark. Wow, you're super great. You both have to meet. You both need to be team teaming up together so that you'll be able to get uh, the best. Um, I believe that's chicken, chicken. I mean, Winner uh, din dinner, I mean chicken chicken win um, dinner. I don't know. I, I can't explain what is that from PUBG. Um, it's definitely some of the uh, ways for you to win the top yeah. spot. But I'm not sure about for Fortnite so having those V box probably a lot of V box. Is that correct? Now, there's actually one of our deals today, guys. If you like to check out our deal of the day, it's a Lara Croft. And it's actually um, also the mirror, or called the Mirror of Smoke. This is the adventure to uncover an ancient artifact. So we'll be bringing you this one, and if you haven't guessed it yet, so this is actually Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. So you can see those, both of the two right now, the characters on the screen, and you can be, be able to play as Lara along with your new partner, Todek. So it's a Mayan tribesman. Now our price comparison tool shows that the game is currently at 70. 2% off. Now this is going to be at the price of 2 euros and 54%, I mean 54 cents from one to of our trusted stores as compared to Steam which is already 9 euros and 99 cents. So you can get the deal by typing on exclamation mark deal on the stream chat for you to get the link so that you'll be able to route it onto our comparison page.